Yo, what is up, everybody? Next to Bose Ultimate, back out again with another video. And today, as you read by the title of this video, it is the Uncharted movie review. Now, I was gonna upload this yesterday, but some issues just got in the way um, of it. So, yeah, just, just stuff happened um, here at the house, and this whole thing, we're still trying to, to figure it out. And I mean, we still are. I mean, Anyway, shit happened, <laughs> um, so that, that's why I didn't get it up, besides with uh, the video that I made yesterday going through the magic box, I figured, well, I'm like, I, like, I needed to upload this today, I figured, and then later on today with the amount of time that I had after I made the magic video, I'm like, I'll just go through later on today whenever I think I have enough time. And then go through it, cause because of this whole thing, like I I don't have time in my day to actually do shit. So whenever I say I can upload two videos in a day, that that's fucking special for me to do and actually do it, because I have to do things on time. And if I don't do them on time, then I'll get fucking pissy with whoever makes me like not be able to do something on time or. I'll just get pissed with myself, so I, I have to go things according to schedule, so that's why I'm getting this today instead of yesterday. Um, but yeah, just a whole bunch of stuff. I'm gonna try, and once again, this goes with the whole, like, being inside of a new house thing. Once we get moved, like, August to September, like, um, like... Yeah, like, there will be probably two uploads a day, hopefully. So, anyways, enough of that update, that, like, two-minute update, um, of what's going on and stuff. It's kind of an update. Anyways, um, if you could tell, I'm still, like, super fucking tired. Um, my throat's kind of sore, not really that bad. It's just early morning bullshit. Anyway, so let's just get straight on to the review. So, Uncharted, it's supposed to be based off of the video games, and it is pretty much like, yeah, that, that's literally it, it's pretty much supposed to be based off of the video games, the main character, Nathan Drake, whom was played by Tom Holland in this movie, with his friend Sully, played by Mark Wahlberg, I somehow remembered his name, anyway, um, so... It was a great movie, actually. Um, better than what we expected, definitely, because I, I didn't hear anything about this movie too much. All I knew was that it was about Nathan Drake and had like this Indiana Jones kind of vibe to it. But as the movie progressed, with the one scenes with the pirate ships, like toward the end of the movie, I'm like, this feels like Pirates of the uh, Caribbean. So that's the kind of vibes I got off of it. But other than that, it was. It was great. The storytelling throughout was pretty good. Was pretty good. Um, the acting was amazing. Um, my question is, I wonder if they shot this before No Way Home or after No Way Home or something. Because No Way Home did come out after Uncharted. And I think they actually shot the Uncharted movie before No Way Home. But, of course, Uncharted came out. In like February, I believe, with um, yeah, yeah, with the Noe Home coming out and some other time. Anyway, um, so yeah, um, that that was that. Um, I'm trying to think here. I I can't think of it, but I feel like I could tell. Like, I feel like if you really pay attention, you figured out when it was released, and then, like, I mean, not released, um, whenever, like, they were shooting the films for both of that, like, you could tell, I think, like, when Tom Holland stopped shooting one thing to go to another thing, like, he could go from Uncharted to No Way Home, but then back to Uncharted, where he doesn't have, like, a scene to do for a day, but he still needs to go over to Uncharted once, like, I don't know if he got Uncharted done first, or, 
um, no way home done first, it was multiple things, but, okay, that was, that was whatever, um, but, like, that's my biggest behind the scenes things, but honestly, that, that's it, other than that, I'm trying to get into the video games more, and what I mean by that is, I mean, I am watching some YouTube stuff about it, and, it, it, there was some, very, some, yeah, there were a lot of, like, similarities in it that I was like, yeah, I see it being a part of the movie and whatnot, but the movie, okay, the movie I want to say was based off of the first video game, even though un the first Uncharted game was, um, like... Uh, Drake and Sully already teamed up with each other and all that, but in this movie, Drake and Sully met, like, met each other, um, so, yeah, that, that was it, but then they randomly became friends, and then it was like, yeah, it was, I don't know, that part was confusing to me, but after watching a video game, I'm like, so they were already friends, so then I just went, okay, like, because once the post-credit scene came, you could see them team up with each other, which I'll talk about post-credit scene now, um, and then the mid-credit scene afterwards, so, um, so, Post credit scene was pretty much Drake and Sully going after this guy. Drake was gonna give away his necklace, but I was like, okay, he's gonna take the necklace secretly because I know how Drake is after watching this movie. And then, of course, he did, but he also got the map that he wanted. But then he saw Sully and he was like, huh, like, okay, um, like, like, apparently they were in on adventures together or something, so I wonder if the second movie is going to be based off of Uncharted 2, but I'm not too sure about that, um, because of the fact of something that I will want to talk about later on in this video, so, yeah. Anyway, so... Breakdown of the movie. Let, let's just get straight into it. Um, for the review, of course. So, once again, this movie was amazing, actually. Like, it's better than I expected. Um, and one of the big things... Okay. I already gave my thoughts on it. Probably because I normally go in order and the post credit scene is normally the last thing I talk about. Anyway... Uh, so, the review. So, we open the scene up with, of course, Tom Holland, um, well, Nathan Drake, um, hanging off of one of those box thingies, and then he, like, flew to that whole scene, whatever, and they got hit by that car, and then as he was, like, falling down, um, his hand, like, his hand was grabbed, but then it went back to 15 years earlier where his brother, where his brother Sam had his hand and whatnot, which that will get back to Sam in a bit. Um, so, so yeah, so, anyway, um, so there was this whole thing that was going on with it, but, yeah, um, there was, there was that, um, I will, yeah, I, I really want to talk about what happens with Sully first, um, but I don't want to quite yet, because all of these other scenes, like, going on my head, like, that all going on in my head that connect with Sully. I mean, not Sully, Sam. That has to do with Sully. But I don't want to do it yet, because I want to, like, build up to it eventually. I mean, I will talk about the church scene real quick. We had Sully, Drake, and then I forgot who the other girl's name was that was with them. But, okay. 
so so they were in the church and we do see Sully's handwriting on a postcard I mean Sam's handwriting on a postcard that was at the church that was inside like that spinner rack thing Jake picked it up and then he was gonna say that to Sully but he's like never mind I think he put the postcard away but yeah um speaking of postcards with Sam Jake did keep off his postcards um from Sully but and they had to figure out like where the things were located at like where the gold was located at I'm just gonna skip here towards like near to the final battle scene and then I'll go back to like later on in the mo movie so Drake went okay I have the thing but he was clever so what I mean by he was clever he wrote two addresses down he kept one of the notepad one of the things in the notepads the girl that they were with like took it and then she went away to go look out for the gold but the actual but she had the fake address but Drake actually had the real one rolled up inside of a ball stuck in the side of the bottle like an empty beer bottle that they must have been drinking. She didn't think much of it. Or she didn't see it. And then Drake just flipped it over. Just flipped the ball over. And then in his hand. He had like the real thing. Like the real destination and whatnot. So. But how do you find the destination? With some keys. We'll get back to the keys later. There was a lot to unravel with this movie. So just be prepared. Um. So. And then with the whole keys thing. I mean, with the whole him going to find the gold thing, like, he had the gold, and then it was like, oh, yeah, like, that's right, like, Sully could track my phone, because Sully found him inside of a pirate ship, where he was with the gold, and that whole thing, so, yeah, um, because it's heaven and hell with the church scene and whatnot, We'll get back to that in a second with GPS, like, after I'm done talking about this. So then they went on, they found the gold, the bad guys came along, and they were gonna take some gold. And then, and Sully was just like, I'm just gonna, and then the fight scene happened. Drake finally got the vest that he wears, which I was like, yes, that's awesome, because Nathan Drake always wore a vest. Once again, I didn't know anything about the video game character coming into this movie, but I... But I remember his, like, figuring about it, like, the outshadow of it. So, looking back on it, if I knew that the outfit that he wore in this movie for the final battle afterwards, um, was, of course, from the first video game, with the vest and the white t-shirt and the necklace, I, I think I would have popped more for it, honestly. And I feel like I would have been able to be like, yeah, like, so, for X, Y, and Z... Blah, blah, yada, yada, yada. Okay. So, he did this, and he wore that, and he said that, and this, and that, and blah, blah, blah. I feel like I would have appreciated it more, but... I didn't know anything about the game at the time, so... Yeah. Um... So, anything. What else with the movie? Um, actually, I say that when we're, like, 13 minutes into this, and I have a lot of things to say. Um, so going to the GPS scene, it was like the church, um, Drake went with the girl down to hell, basically, um, to find the gold, but it wasn't gold, it was a map that they found with salt face things, and, it, like, imploded or whatever, it was like that whole thing, so yeah, um, that whole scene happened, um, and then we thought that she turned on Drake and Sully, but she didn't, but she did, because then she wants to go work with the bad guys, but then she turned on them to help Drake and Sully again, but I don't know, I don't remember what her name was, it was this whole thing. Um, but the main villain in it, she was badass. I forgot what her name was. Like I said, I, I only remember Sully and Drake. Sully mainly because that's not only Drake's best friend. 
but also Monsters, Inc. And then Nathan Drake is just a famous video game character, so, uh, well. Anyway, um, so, that whole thing happened. Um, and one of the things I liked about the airplane fight scene... The fight scene was beautifully choreographed. Like, all the fight scenes were, like, it was better. Like, my mom, like, it wasn't as much video gameage as my mom and I thought it was gonna be. So, there was that. Um, yeah. Basically. Anyway. Um, d yeah. That was, that was that. So, um, anyway, so enough with the fight scenes, I'll go on with my thoughts, my view, rankage out of it, and anything and everything else, so then we saw it, so then we're watching it some more, the airplane scene, I think I liked, because it's supposed to be a remake of the opening scene, but it wasn't really, because we got to see Tom Holland do all of his stuff, but we didn't at the same time, which I liked, because I thought it was going to be a redo scene of it. But it was, and it was like showing the battle that was taking place on the scene, and the things that happened that made Tom go, like, oh, the box is coming at me, duck. And to hit the villain, and then, like, all, and then all that fun jazz, so. And then the whole car scene, which I thought the car scene was cool with them, like, on top of the car and whatnot, like, that was awesome. Um, so, yeah, and then they finally made it to an island, which, of course, that's then what made the whole fighting pirates of the Caribbean pirate helicopter plane ship battle final scene, final battle scene thing work out. I'm just gonna call it the final battle scene, um, because it was, it was the final battle scene. Anyways, so... Man, a lot more of these movies that I watch more consist of final battles than a lot of other things. Anyway, so, yeah, so, um, all that happened, and then Drake and them were like, okay, like, like, that, that just, that whole scene, all together, um, I'm probably gonna go on and talk about the keys now, because I really don't have anything else to say about the final battle scene, except for the fact that it was great, it was very well choreographed, um, love, like, the Pirates of the Caribbean-esque type thing onto it, so, yeah, um, so, the keys they got, well, Drake and Sully had one of the keys from an auction, which the auction, I, I love the auction for different reasons. One of them being like when he was swinging on the chandelier, I was like, oh, I'm like, it kind of looks like, um, yeah, um, kind of looks like Spider-Man. That's, that's the vibe that I got. And then, because of course Tom Holland, if he's swinging on something, you can't look at him and go, oh, that's Spider-Man. Like, you just can't do that. So, then they finally took the case away. Sully dressed up as one of the people who were working for them, took the case. Um, and he managed to have the key and whatnot to meet Drake inside of a car. Um, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sorry about that. Got up super early this morning. Did not want to. Anyway. Um. Something was just on the camera lens. So. But. Speaking of which. Like it's it's 9.19. Speaking of early. Jesus Christ. Anyway. Um. So. Yeah. Um. It was. That, that scene was great. I love how they made that little joke. Like, oh, uh, you left me behind. It really wasn't a joke. But it was like, you left me behind for the key. But then they got it. And all that fun things. And it was funny enough where, like, like they didn't overly do it. Like, they should have. It was funny where it was good. Where 
unlike the Batman, on the other hand, where it was, like, funny moments that were in there that was, like, more necessary. Cough, cough, every fucking joke ever made in that movie. Cough, cough, except for one. Anyway. Um... So, but yeah, but there were some funny moments in this movie that were actually supposed to be in there. That was great. I guarantee you that if I knew a little bit more about the movies, that there would be more Easter eggs in it. And a big part of mine, what I didn't talk about the post credit scene, that makes me go, who's going to be the next villain? Because they both, because I'm guessing somebody had like a gun up to them, and, he, and then Drake's like, oh, like, you got to be kidding me. So who knows what's going to be. Who knows if it's going to be the same girl in, like, every uh, Uncharted, if it's the same villain girl in, like, the Uncharted video games. So, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's weird. It really is weird, but that's that's just how that is. So, yeah. So, Uncharted, um... It was, it was great. Um, once again, the final battle scenes were awesome. That scene was funny because that was, because that was only like, oh, like they had to go on another adventure after they did that whole thing, but that happened. Um, I'm gonna just go straight talking about his brother now because the other girl had the key. They had this whole chase scene after it, um, and whatnot. And there were a lot of moments where, um, I'll say this right now, before we get to Sully, I mean Sam, his brother, there were a lot of moments where I thought Tom Holland wasn't acting, and where he went, okay, um, I'm just gonna, because I, like, with Tom Holland, who knows if he's acting, or he does improv a lot, because whenever he made the joke about the pina coladas and sex on the beach, I'm like, I don't know if Tom Holland's acting, or that's him being Tom Holland, Cause if you've seen clips of Tom Holland, you know like that's his real life self. Like he likes to be funny like that. Um, so, so yeah, um, th there was that whole thing to it. Um, but like I said, there was a lot of things to it. Like of course the double key whole thing. Like they had to go like. The keys were like crucifixes, but it was this, which the keys had like little like things on it. Where, like if you took it off, it was like this needle that he put it, put it down to the map in certain places. And then he made things collide to get like the ends of it collide together and then point down. And then there was like, uh, aha, like that was the place that was supposed to be there. Um... So, and all of that. So, yeah. Um, there was, there was that to make him find, like, okay, like, this is where the chest was. Because, once again, postcards with Sam. Um, like, he gave, like, little hints for him. Um, to do, but the hints was mainly on one card. And, like, he put the match, like, the match to it, the flame. Although I think he just picked up a candle and just put the thing over the candle. He used, like, invisible ink. He's like, okay, like, use, like, the crucifixes or, like, the keys are the answer or something like that. The keys were something. So then, of course, they're, like, the answer to it of, like, where you would find the golden stuff, which they did. Um, but, yeah, so going on to Sam. Sam was his brother, older brother, I believe. But, and throughout the movie, Solly looked at him. Like, Solly knew what happened to Sam. Drake didn't. Drake thought Sam was still alive, but Sully didn't, and he was like, okay, like, I know what happens, but I can't tell you what happens. And then they do say what happens um, after the girl was gonna kill Drake, but all the shenanigans happened and went down, so then Sully was like, your brother died, I saw an opening, and I left, and then Drake's like, so you pretty much left him there to die, he's like, no, he's like, I just took an opening, and I left, he's like, it's the same thing, you left him there to die, so, 
So uh, Drake and Sully think that he's dead, and of course, flying off into the sunset with the pirate ship. I think that's where they were supposed to make a lot of fans go. On oh, like that's supposed to be, like the pirate ship is supposed to be Sam like sinking or whatever. Um, like being like, yeah, like I I helped you lead to this journey. But it wasn't. That was just a shot from the movie. The twist of it all was. You see prison cells going a lot, like, a camera going along prison cells and whatnot. And then, right there, then I knew, I'm like, something has to do with Sam. Or a villain. But then you see this guy sitting down, writing something. And then that's where you go, oh, it's Sam. And then you see, like, him writing down a postcard with, like, his initial S. And it's like, oh my god, like, Sam's alive. But now, granted... Um, the postcards aren't getting to Drake, so Drake thinks that Sam's dead, but Sam's actually alive in a prison cell, so they might do that for the second movie, or they they might figure something out, who knows, I don't know yet, I can't wait for the second movie, honestly, to figure out, like, what's gonna happen next, because I wanna get into video games more, so, there's all of that fun jazz that's going down, I'm probably gonna wrap this up now, because I can't really say too much other about that, besides from it was great, I talked about, like, a lot of the bigger important stuff, and I can't be, like, like, I can't talk too much about it, because, once again, I don't know the video games too much, so I can't really go on and talk, like, yeah, I understand references A, B, and C, but I did, but there were moments where I think they could have done E, F, G, Beto, M, N, O, P, and then... Like, instead of X, Y, Z, like, you know what I mean? Like, there, there was this whole thing. Like, I, I can't do that because I've never played the video game. So I can't say, yeah, that's a line drop from video game 3 or 4. Like, because there's only been 4 Uncharted games, so I don't know much about it. But, um... But I, I, but there might be something that has to do with Sam. I'm not sure yet, so I don't know if like, I, I don't, I don't know. I'm just gonna be along for the ride and the journey throughout the Uncharted series. Um, there might be four movies for those four video games. I mean, look at Harry Potter. There were like what eight movies for seven books. So I think they could do four movies for four um video games if Tom Holland isn't busy doing. Marvel movies and other things, and yeah, and um, Mark Wahlberg isn't busy filming Transformers seven thousand and twenty eight. So there's that. Um, but overall, what's my rating of this movie? Strong nine point eight. I wanted to give it a ten, but once again, I can't. Or oh, even like a nine point seven. 9.7 I feel like is good because I just don't know too much about the character but for more but if the character's anything like the movie where he's smart and like he knows about the guy who sailed across the world halfway and then the guy who finished it but he took all the credit for it and whatnot and yeah and like because the map was a big part of it because Sully and whatnot um my wrist hurts because Sully and whatnot went on to like talk about the map and whatnot and what they need to steal and whatever. So that was that was that. Um. So, but once again, I can't really say too much about it other than from what I gathered from it and what the video game is supposed to be like. Um, compared to the. But yeah, what the movie is supposed to be like compared to the video game. So, there's that. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you leave a like, comment down below. Let me know what your favorite scene from Uncharted was or what your favorite... No. Let me know what your favorite Uncharted video game was. Um, I'm gonna go on. I am going to try and get out two videos today. I'm gonna tr fucking try hard to today so I can go on and do the second row of magic today because there's gonna be nine episodes. So I want to do them nine days. Like, so I'm gonna be busy on uh, Monday and Tuesday, but there's that. Uh, so thank you all for watching.
Um, please subscribe for more movie reviews. I'll see y'all later. Peace.